This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fragrant Bunker. Essentially, Jacob, where we talk perfumes, you guys. Thank you for being here. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Dick All Spelled Together. Thank you to all my patrons who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream on my main channel every Saturday. You're all welcome to join in the conversation. Hello to all my co-chators. Surprise, surprise. This one came out of the blue. We're talking perfumes. And good that I got Jesus right here, my good old pal Jesus. Uh, he brought this to my attention. By the way, go check out his YouTube channel, Ho De Toilet. Yeah, the name is Program. Wonderful YouTube channel uh, about perfumes. And he brought this to my attention about Dries Van Noten. Dries Van Noten. Dries Van Noten. Dries Van Noten. Uh, is creating a line of perfumes and cosmetics. And we're, we're going to get it done talk about it today. Um, so... Listen, this is being reported by Fashion United uh, UK. Dries van Noten expands into perfume and cosmetics by Rachel Douglas. Belgian fashion house Dries van Noten has stepped into the beauty world, expanding its assortment to also now include perfume and cosmetics. Two fragrances, 10 eau de parfums, a selection of hand creams, bar soaps, and a travel pouch are part of the luxury brand's offerings each complete with refillable and collectible cases in line with its sustainable design development processes. Oh, how we love to hear sustainable in the words, don't we? Materials used for the containers and packaging further utilize responsibly sourced, recycled or recyclable materials. Oh, don't we all, darling? A complete collection for the face, eyes and nails are also among the new drop by the house, including selection of lipsticks in multiple shades and lip brushes. Additionally, beauty accessories will play a big role in the offering, with the resin mirrors, pochettes, and combs to also be available. Dries van Noten joins a myriad of luxury brands and celebrities making their way into the beauty arena as they continue to see the growing demand and potential in the market. The brand's beauty collection will become available from March 2nd at select Dries van Noten boutiques and online. <clears throat> so, I'm filming this video a couple of uh, days after March 2nd. Pardon me, <clears throat> my voice. I'm still recovering from the lockdown syndrome, as I call it, the candy cane. So, I will be coughing from time to time. Bear with me. So, these are, I guess, the lippies. These are the lippies. Oh, Jesus, of course, anytime. Shout out. Shout out to my boy. Shout out to my boy. Yas, queen. All right. I'm going to post a link to hold the toilets. <laughs> yes, hold the toilets. I'm going to post the link <laughs> to Hold the Toilet's channel in the description box down below. So you can go and check out his channel. And thus here are the lippies. Let me show you the next photo. Let Check out the perfume bottles. I mean, you yeah, guys. I've read online a lot of people have been loving this design. Uh, to each their own, I want to say. Like, Silala says, oh, those are fun. Okay, now, Silala, tell us why. Do you like, because they're like half, half colored? Because they look like flasks for, you know, guzzle moment? Like, they say you can use them as vases after you, after you're done with the perfumes? I mean, you got to wash out the alcohol and the oils really out because otherwise, well, I mean, the flowers you put in a vase. How big are they if you can use them as a vase? Are they like two liter bottles? <laughs> because if they're tiny like this, how can you use them as a vase to put just one little flower inside? <clears throat> Very much Victoria's Secrets perfumes. It looks like a Google stock photos, says Ricky Chavez. Julie Scott says, those are cute, actually. Aisha asks, which brand is this? This is Dries, Dries Van Noten. Louis says, very much Victoria's Secrets perfumes. <laughs> Jenny Young says, true. Silala says, I love the half-half. The colors, the color print combos, all of it. 
Interesting. So they do cater. There, there's something appealing about it. because I saw them, and the first thing I thought was, um, too much, you know. Like, the first thing I thought when I saw them was, it doesn't make me desire them. It doesn't have that sex appeal that I like in a perfume bottle. But then again, maybe holding it in 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 your hands will give it a different feel. Mm. I don't know. What do you guys think? Aisha says, thanks, Jacob. You're welcome, sweetie. <laughs> Jesus says, I don't know. I'm kind of neutral. It's not bad, though, says Jesus. Uh, the one on the furthest right is good. On the furthest right. Which has that design on it, right? Which we're not supposed to say that word, the O word, right? It looks a little bit O-ish. So I guess it's, we could say Byzantine instead. If you know what I mean? Look like Zara perfumes, says Madame Pomrosé. I like the green with brown combo, says Jesus. Oh, the simplest one. <laughs> the one that's like kind of the most, okay. If I were to choose one, and this is because I want them to be sexy and a little bit sexualized. I would go for the one that looks like a zebra. The pink with zebra. I think that's the more rare. I don't know. It, it give, It's probably not zebra, but it looks like a zebra to me. The black and white at the The third one from, from the... I'm always bad with right and left because I'm a lefty. So wait. From left to right, the third one is the one that I would go for. Um, just... It gives me a little bit of a animal animalier moment and it gives me a little bit more of a zhuzh. Uh you know when you're a kid and you want to collect all the little things like super balls or miniature characters um it's like that it makes me want to collect them all oh well you're gonna have to budget that because i'm sure these are not going to be cheap so if they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I'm sure that's going to be more than a hundred a bottle. So, what are they going to cost? Like two hundred a bottle, one hundred a bottle. So it's at least a thousand to two thousand dollars if you want the whole set. It's also giving Mac perfume bottles. I actually like the blue glass with silver one as well. Says Aisha. Interest. You guys, you're really into this, huh? Okay. I stand corrected. <laughs> I'm not into it at all. But I I acknowledge defeat. <laughs> I acknowledge defeat. I see that I'm alone on this. Everybody's loving them. So good. I'm happy for you, for y'all. Be sure y'all to buy one and let me know how they smell. <laughs> it's giving, but not giving the right idea, said Stephen. Interesting. <clears throat> They remind me of Ikea vase, uh, vases, vases, says Coco Kitty CC. Well, what a way to pitch <laughs> to pitch a sale, Coco. <laughs> Silala says, that's the appeal. I didn't say I would buy them all. I like the look too, says A1H. Madame says, I do not feel them. You are not alone, says Trina. Okay, so it's the three of us for now. Against the world. Against the Oh, six of us, Debs? Ricky says, can we get the scents in regular clear bottles? I mean, the closest to clear that we get is the second one next to my zebra. With that blue, it's kind of, you see the liquid inside. That's kind of like the closest we get to clear. But there is no clear. No, it's this van Noten. He wants patterns. Textiles, darling. Little prints that look like fabrics, darling. Little patterns, darling. Little knick-knacky patterns, darling. Oh, it's seven of us, Ricky says. Okay, seven of us aren't, aren't filling it. It's given Creed vibes. Oh, cha, you just killed it for me completely. If it gives Creed vibes, I'm out of the dough. The dough is there. There's another dough over there. You can choose which dough you want to leave from. <laughs> yeah, ki 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 kitschy. It's kitschy. That's it, says Christy. I'm not keen on the plain one, says Aisha. I don't like them, says Dark Lozel 23. Jane says, it's all about the smell for me. No, for sure, you guys. I mean, throwing shade at a bottle, who cares, right? We want to know how they smell. Well, I don't know how they smell. I didn't get a chance to test them <clears throat> yet. 
But uh, Andrea Meyer says, not doing it for me. But I would love to smell them. Of course, I want to smell any any new perfume, right? Like, uh, you know what I mean? Coco says, I blipped out. Are we supposed to pick the bottle and fill with the scent of choice? No, actually, it's 10 different scents. And they all have different names as well. Um, I think Jesus has the list of all the names. Kind of, He sent it to me a couple of days ago, but I don't have it right now. And one of them was called a fleur du mal, and so we were we were talking about oh being a reference to Jean Paul Gaultier's fleur du mal, but that's a different thing because obviously it's a reference to Baudelaire's um, poetry compilation, the the flowers of evil, which Gaultier then played upon and created the flower of male, like man. Uh, but obviously they're probably not going to smell at all similar. But anyway, one of them is going to be called fleur du mal. I remember that. Because I had the conversation with Jesus, but I don't know the name of the other ones. Um, three hundred dollars, says Kevy. Are they going to cost three hundred dollars a bottle? Cha, talk about sustainability. How about sustaining our wallets, Dries? Um, Lisa says, "How does one refill after uh, the after after the bottle is empty?" I don't know. I don't know. Silala says three hundred dollars. Well, Silala, then you gotta change your budget from one thousand to three three thousand dollars for the set. It's a steal, girl. What about the packaging? I don't know. They're talking sustainability, so I don't think they're gonna have plastic foliage around the package because they're sustainable after all. Maybe you get no pack. Jesus, from loving it to three hundred dollars, girl, buy. And uh, then uh, Bubbles answered, Goodbye, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I love how innocent Bubbles the Bot is. Our little bot. Our little Bubbles the Bot. Streamlabs is, is a bot. And it, it it's innocent. Isn't it lovely how bots are still so innocent? I wish we were that innocent. Sometimes only, though. Uh, Lisa says, If it smells good, I would spend 300 if it smells great. Good point. Yeah, if it's like if it's worth it to you, if it makes you feel something, I, I get it. I get it. I've spent three hundred dollars on a perfume myself, you know. And um, if I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. You know, if I feel it, I feel it. And if I feel it real good, then yeah, then it's worth it to me too. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> Steven says, if it's three hundred, you can say bye to me. <laughs> and Bubbles says goodbye, Steven. Phoenix Rising, three thousand dollars for the set. Does it morph into something else? I mean, I could say a couple of funny things right now, but YouTube will not allow us to. Uh, Silala says, I'll wait for leftover empties on eBay. eBay can be a good place for stuff stuff like that. Just be careful, you guys, to not get, you know, tricked and, you know, because eBay is full of really weird people who try everything to, to take your money and to not send your products. So I always say eBay is poison. You got to go there at your own risk uh, and be very, very cautious, you guys. Be very, very cautious. What is going on here? Oh. Um, there is a brand that sells you a bottle forever and sells refills and recyclable bottles. A lot of a lot of people do that. I mean, you know, you can, uh, people, brands. Um, Mugler still does it, has done it for ages now. You buy it once and then you could always refill it on the refill stations. Not that it costs much less but it costs less. Did you see the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle body oil? Everybody's talking about it. I have not tried it yet. Coco Kitty CC says, refilling perfume bottles is like bringing your own container to the nut butter machine at Bulk Barn. Not luxury. I know what you're saying. And the only reason why all of these brands are pushing for the sustainability factor is because it's fashionable to do so. Otherwise, they would not be doing it. Mugler aside, because Mugler was trying to do it when it was even not popular. Charlotte Tilbury started what that concept with skincare as well. I mean, Chanel is now doing also refillable creams. Monsieur Manuel says, well, not refillable. You buy the recharge also in a plastic container, which is like, girl, what gives? I'm kind of missing flower of story, says Monsieur Manuel. Oh, my God. Flower of story is so hilarious. You should definitely check out uh, that video on my main channel about Chanel suing a Chinese company for copying their Chanel number no. five perfume. Go check out that video. Chanel lawsuit. That's how it's called. It's on my main super dyke channel right now. 
right now. After you finish done, did done watching this video, why not just hop on over to the other side and watch the other video over there? We're all waiting for you. Oh, yes, we is. And, yeah. Uh, oh, you saw it? <laughs> yeah, of course you saw it. That's why you know the joke, Flower of Story. Number nine, Flower of Story. Now, that's a name for a perfume, let me tell you. Sustainability is in fashion. It sells, says, says Fotini. Yeah, to totes, totes. Well, anyway, you guys, <clears throat> this is uh, this is what is... Wait, wait. Let me show you the other picture quickly again so you get to see the little, I guess, either refills or tinier versions of the perfume or lipsticks because they're talking about cosmetics as well. This is giving me Christian Labouton or Christian Labouton meets... Dior meets some cheap brand that wants to be Hermes meets I don't know <coughs> it's if something like this maybe 10 years ago maybe 10 years ago now it seems a little bit like we've seen this before and it feels childish not necessarily in a good way um it's Dries van Noten Rara Dries van Noten Ricky Chavez and Texas Jacob comes out oh yeah my, my Texas always comes out in the wrong moments but you know what maybe maybe just maybe 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 just maybe it comes out in the right moments yee uh, it's giving gentrification chic, says Jesus. The blue, red, and black orange is better. Yeah, I mean, the colors themselves, it's kind of interesting. Like, for example, the neon green combined with the black and white, like, polka dot thing. I'm feeling it. Like, I'm feeling it. But not... If this is a lippy, I don't know what this is. It's a lipstick or a miniature perfume. I don't know. But... Co yeah, it's the combo that doesn't work for me. And then with the gold hardware, I don't know, you guys. It doesn't serve innovation. Like, oh, wow, Dries van Noten is going into perfume and beauty, finally. Like, let you know, not that he didn't do perfumes before. He did some limited editions before. But, like, now he's, like, going full-blown into the cosmetic world. Like, yas, queen, you know, and this is what you deliver? Eh. It feels a little bit like a project at the end of, you know, school. It's, like, the final project. And like you're delivering your final product. Hey, maybe the product, the actual perfumes maybe smell divine, like nothing we've ever smelled before. Maybe the lippies and whatever these products are, are incredible. Maybe the quality is amazing. Sure. But you know how we are. We are superficial hoes. We like to see how a thing looks aesthetically. If I'm not a... You guys, look at this. Look at the beauty of this poison bottle like if 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 it doesn't attract me like you know i'm not gonna i don't even want to smell it if it doesn't even have that moment of like and this is what i was saying about sexuality perfumes have to be sensual they to me just a personal thing okay they have to have some there has to be some sexual tension between me and that perfume uh bottle and aesthetic I'm, I, otherwise i'm not even going to be compelled to you know what I mean? Pop its cherry and smell it. No. And these are not serving me the serve. You know what I mean? Uh, but just saying. Anywho. Anywho. Giving them still the potential because we might be smelling them, you know, in a couple of months or whatever, weeks from now and being like, oh my God, they smell divine. But just from the look, I don't know. What are your thoughts? Has anybody out there already smelt them and has opinions to share on them in the comment section down below? Hey, please do let us know. We're... We're very curiosi, curiosi. We want to know. Mm. Trina says, looks cheap with a hearty price tag. Yeah, sustainability, but not sustainability for the wallet. Monsieur Manuel says, Puig uh, bought his label. So, owner of Jean-Paul Gaultier and Nina Ricci. Oh, I see. So, Puig bought Dries van Noten. So, these are all Puig productions. Well then, you guys. Do we have anything more to say? Puig charging $300 a bottle? <coughs> that says it all, no? It's definitely trying to give color of pomegranates. 
Platini says poisoned apple. I bought and gave away the Lemichka scent three times because I love the bottle. <coughs> it's pushing people away from smelling them, says Stephen. Trina says looks cheap. Oh, sorry, I already read that one. Madame says since it is also from Puig, maybe Fleur de Mal is going to smell like Fleur du Mal. <gasps> Madame, you're on to something. Trina says nothing more to add. Yeah, Ricky says, if I'm going to pay 300 I want to display it. Right? Jesus says, oh my God, madame, imagine. And with that thought of Gautier, Puige, merging with Dries van Noten, I bid you adieu. I hope you've enjoyed this journey through perfumes that we've never smelled before, but we talked about them anyway. How fun is this world we live in? I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thumb it up. Subscribe to my channel. And until next time, never forget to never give up on love and also never give up on fragrant love. Bye.